Nityananda, welcome to Nityananda TV News from Toronto Kailasam Temple in Toronto, Canada for Tuesday, July 17, 2012, the year of meditation and cosmic partying, the kind that doesn't do damage to our bodies. Now for today's headlines. Morning satsang from the Swamiji. Inner awakening and end genius update. One group only, Kailash Yatra, July 27th to August 14th. Registration still open. Morning satsang from the Swamiji. In today's morning satsang, 1,032 connections with 42-way connections from 261 cities and 29 countries joined for 105 minutes of divine meditation as Swamiji answers a question regarding religious conversion. Swamiji declares that conversion is actually intentional, applied violence. When a person encounters a spiritual truth through direct experience, his inner space evolves and undergoes transformation. At that point, he may choose to adopt the former religion associated with the truth he has discovered and embrace it as a devotional practice. This is the only legitimate form of conversion. All other avenues outside pressure or bribery are simply a veil for aggression. He said the only conversion that can happen is transformation of the human race. And all devotees are requested to read the Tibetan Book of the Dead and English text transcripts of the TV serial recommended by Swamiji can now be found at nithinanda.net search Devan Ki Dev Mahadev should not be conversion. Conversion is a violence. I wanted to tell you all religious conversion is violence. Never ever anybody in my sampradaya will practice religious conversion. No. No conversion. In transformation, you never have pain. Suddenly you will see, some of your old faith and beliefs have completely left you due to your new discovery. Then it is not conversion. It is transformation. So after transformation, you may, may not choose legally to adopt that new religion you discovered. Please understand. It's a very subtle issue. This has to be handled with a lot of sensitivity. Because I see so much of psychological violence, cultural invasion as an Indian born and brought up in a village, I know the sufferings of religious conversion. How many of us are forcibly converted? How many of us have been bribed for poverty is being exploited? For the sake of bread and butter, people converting to a different religion, I have seen. I have seen villages getting converted and the psychological violence being done. So I tell you, as a sufferer, victim of religious conversion, with tremendous sensitivity and love and compassion for humanity, I make this as a law for Nityananda Sampradaya and all my devotees and disciples. Thy shall not convert. We will only spread, radiate transformation. Understand? I can tell you millions of stories, painful stories, where conversion is nothing to do with religion, it is more to do with politics. It became a power-centric action, not spiritual-centric action. Religious conversion is conscious violence. 
most powerful violence on the planet earth that is why all consciousness based religions vedic tradition buddhism jainism sikhism sufism none of us believe in conversion it is my vision one day i'll surely gather all these traditions which does not believe in conversion even greek orthodox church does not believe in conversion the traditions which does not believe in conversion we will all gather together and declare to the whole humanity no conversion only transformation as a law let us not be violent to the human civilization there is enough of people who are violent to human civilization who are greedy they have money we religious leaders the spiritual leaders should stop this concept of conversion inner awakening and end genius update Later in the day, the Inner Awakening participants were awakened to reality in the End Reality session with Swamiji. For the End Genius kids, every day is fun playfully learning many enlightened sacred secrets. Their growing consciousness making them ready to take humanity to a new era of enlightened civilization. The evening ended with a beautiful darshan from Swamiji. One group only, Kailash Yatra. Registrations are open. Go for the God Rush. The next Kailash Yatra is July 27th to August 14th. This is your chance to experience the ultimate statement of the cosmos with the rarest of enlightened beings, Paramahamsa Nityananda. See nityananda.org slash events for your inspiration and nityananda.org to send your prayer to Kapil Tattu Corner. That's all from Nityananda TV News for now. Thank you for joining us and let us end our news with a bliss dose from the Avatar. Only by sincere effort you achieve anything in inner or outer world. We'll see you next time on Nitinanda TV News. Nitinandam